New Zealand qualifying by taking care of business against uh, England, the Lionesses, a couple of hours ago. And the Jillaroos have been the class of this tournament by far. Braith Anasta and Maddie Studden in commentary. And uh, a nice touch here from the Kangaroos. We will see once the Jillaroos uh, come out the race here at Bankwest Stadium, we will see a guard of honour being formed yeah. by the Australian men. Yeah, Dean, great work from Al Meninga and his side to do this. Great support for the women's Australian side. And it'll be Ali Brigginshaw who leads the way and has been, in my opinion, the player of the tournament so far. She leads from the front. She's been so creative but also controlled in that leadership role that she does possess but New Zealand will be causing trying to cause an upset and they'd love to do it against the Australians wouldn't they Maddie? Yeah for sure I think if um, New Zealand really want to win this they really got to shut down those main players like Ali Bringishaw because she has too much time on her, hand, on her hands and if you if you give her that she's just too good so yeah I think it's going to be a big game but I'm back in Jillaroos. Who do we watch out for here in the Kiwi Ferns, Matty? Yeah, Honey, Honey for sure. Georgia Hale, she's been playing outstanding all year. Um, in the NRLW, she was big too. So, um, And then you've got to watch out for Rhoda and Hooker. Okay. Yep. They've been getting progressively better, haven't they? They were off the mark yesterday against, against Australia, but a decent performance against the Orchids, and then they were superb against England. These are great scenes here at Bankwest Stadium. The Jillaroos have not lost in any form of the game for two and a half years. And now they take to the stage here. We will have an anthem and we will have a harker as well. So uh, I'm amazed at the Jillaroos and how far they have come in terms of skill set over the past few seasons and the level at which they play now. They, they, they have come so far. The women's game has come so far and it's been a great tournament for them. So let's take the anthems here as we get ready for the women's final of the World Cup Nines. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the national anthems of New Zealand, followed by Australia.
So the stage is set here at Bankwest Stadium. These teams will do it again next week in the 13 aside test match in Wollongong. And now it would not be a big New Zealand game without this as we prepare for the Haka. minutes when we have the men's team as they get ready to take on the kangaroos but right now it's all about the women and they met uh, yesterday 22 points to eight Australia triumphing on that occasion but you do get the feeling that we're going to see a different Kiwi Ferns outfit tonight well we'll need to because Australia were fantastic yesterday I mentioned Big and Shaw before but even their outside backs throughout the tournament have got bigger, better. McGregor, Kelly, Pinatani, and Tungai, a try scoring machine on the left hand side. Just creating so many opportunities and getting it into the right players' hands throughout the tournament, which has led to them scoring a number of tries. So New Zealand really need to be at their best. We saw Jess uh, Sergis. There were suggestions she uh, is carrying a, a bit of a chest injury from uh, earlier in the tournament, but she's here. We're about to get started. It is Australia versus New Zealand. Here she is, the player of the year. Scored a bullocking try earlier today. And we begin the Women's World Cup Nines final is underway. It's Australia to receive. And the hallmark of their tournament has been outstanding defence. They have put on over 90 points. But defensively, they have been superb. A nervous moment for Ali Brigginshaw. He's been arguably the player of the tournament. Now here's Davis providing for Millie Boyle. The Brisbane Bronco. And just beyond the 30 metre line on the Australian side of halfway. And now, a nice bit of footwork from Betty Welsh. And that gets us to the fifth and final tackle. And now a little show and go from Davis. In the clear, it's Davis doing it on her own. Now the final pass off New Zealand hands. And the tackle count resumes. The Gillaroos, golden chance to score first. Bring and short, Boyle. Stands in the tackle, Strong swats carry. away one. Look at it go. Numbers Strong left here. Centimetre short. Brigginshaw needs it. Comes out to Brigginshaw, but terrific defence by Arpy Nichols, who rushed up on it. Now, here comes from Davis. Mini Welsh, away to Surges. Just a numbers game, and out it goes to Penatani. She's making a habit of this in this tournament. Tiana Penatani with the first try of the final. Yeah, it's been a fast start, but it was all Davis. Davis got them down this end of the field with a dummy and go from dummy half. Again on this side, she goes to that lethal right-hand edge where Penatani gets the try for a beautiful pass from Surge's torpedo pass. You're talking about skill and execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Yeah, that was beautiful. They shut down Ali then, and then obviously Bertil just got the ball and hands through, and Tiana finished off, so that was doing good. It's a decent game plan, isn't it, to rush up on Ali, but there are plenty of other players to pick up the slack. 
So well, it gives time to Davis, the number nine in the dummy half, who already has capitalised. Now, there's no changes to the rules between the group stages and the final, unless we go to extra time. We go to a golden try situation. We just keep going until someone gets the match winner. Uh, uh, the Kiwi Ferns now. There's Maynard, the Rorter, back inside to Georgia Hale, one of the Kiwi Ferns' best. And that uh, has not been touched by the Australians. As it comes out here to Madison Bartlett now, Honey Hareme runs over the top of Betty Welsh. Hareme squatting him off like flies. Knocking on the door. Here is Laiatawa under the bar. New Zealand in front with the bonus point. Beautiful step there by Ray Tame McGregor. And she's done it in the last game as well, so she's definitely bringing that momentum into the grand final. Well done. Yeah, great work here, Leia Toa. I mean, she's been one of their best, the Ferns. Great footwork. So New Zealand with that conversion. They jump out to a seven points to four lead. So, and was Racine McGregor who McGregor. scored the try from the Broncos. And the one thing the Jillaroos haven't had to face all tournament is any sort of scoreboard pressure. I know it's early days, but this is a rarity for them to be behind on the scoreboard. It's, it's a huge test for them. Brendan Cruz control the whole tournament, as you mentioned, Dan. So when the pressure is on, when it matters the most, that's when you need to deliver. Let's see how they go. So here's Millie Boyle as we... We have to approach the midway point of this first half in the women's final. Brickenshaw, short side to Kelly. And Isabel Kelly rounded up on halfway. That's Leoto with the tackle. Now Brickenshaw turns it back inside to Boyle. She's getting plenty of touches. But uh, some driving defence from New Zealand. Leoto again. Now Brickenshaw. Out to the right this time. As it comes out here. But again, just swallowed up the Australian attackers there. That time it was Maynard with the tackle. And on the last, Brigginshaw charged down. Now it is fallen on by a player who appeared to be in front of the kicker. And down, that's the way the, the referee the judges. So unfortunately for New Zealand, because it was a terrific charge down, again, pressure on Brigginshaw. It's a tactic which is working, but a penalty to the Gillaroos. Well, they said throughout... Jeremy said throughout a few of her interviews they were going to change tactics according to the side they were coming up against, and they've certainly done that against Brigginshaw. Well, Kezi Apps taken off her feet there, but a strong run nonetheless. Now here's Davis. And she just goes herself here, heavily involved in the Jillaroos one try so far. Brigginshaw to dummy half. The show on the go. And the underarm to Kezi Apps. Australia back in front. Yeah, they definitely got the numbers around Ali, but she got that good offload and Kezi with good support. Yeah, she just puts her hand up, Brigham Shaw, when, when they need it the most. Uh, down this end of the field, bit of pressure on them. We, we said, uh, Dan, how would they respond to that try from New Zealand, that seven-point try? And this is how they do it. Brigham Shaw takes it by the scruff of, of the neck and just delivers a beautiful pass. The conversion misses. So despite the fact Australia has scored two tries to one, it is a one-point ball game. Uh, Kizzy Apps, a familiar face. Putting Australia back in front. So let's see what Brigginshaw can deliver. A conservative kick this time. But the bounce is awkward. Just gobbling it up in time. Takadangi, she's in trouble. And the flag stays down. But now the referee has spotted a knock on. So Jillaroo's ball. Look at a replay here. Oh, yeah, it came out. Good decision. And now the Jillaroo's looking for back-to-back -back tries. Right, get off the ball. They're inside the 20. And and Apps plays it. Davis. Now comes to Brigginshaw. The ball on the inside to Robinson goes down. Just yeah, Robinson here. just back overran back it back on this here. occasion. Wait, 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 they wait, sold wait. it a bit too. It was a bit too obvious there for the defence. Brigham Shaw, that the pass was way too hard. So New Zealand have not had much ball in this game. As Georgia Hale has been hard to put down all tournament. 
Warriors captain. Now, good tackle. It's Leia Tower. Good first contact there, so tackle affected. Ten short of the halfway line here for the Warriors. Now it comes out. Tamarua down the inside pass. Sees Takarangi go down 38 metres out. Warriors attacking the right edge. There's numbers right if they can go there and get the pass out quick enough. Last play. Right out to McGregor. Now comes out to Hareme. Long pass. And even had to had not been forward, that was going to result in Jullaru ball. So an opportunity lost. Big minute a here. A big opportunity. Ki Kiwi Ferns had a, a, some space on the right and the left. They just couldn't get it there quick enough. And you've got to take them against the quality side here, like the Jillaroos. So a vastly different game for the Jillaroos than they've been experiencing in this tournament. They've got a contest here. There's Alicia Harden down the middle. Now it comes to Brigginshaw at the line. The pass to Kelly. Neat footwork. Taken comfortably there by the defence. Now comes the short side. Brigginshaw. Now her pass is taken by Robinson. She's taken ball and all. The last play here. Not enough time for a restart, so it has to happen on this play. The chip and chase. It's a little too deep from Brigginshaw. And going to ground. Yeah, good read there from Tapia. Yeah, she, she done well, Dan, because Brigginshaw, obviously, with a great kicking game, she read the play before it happened, happened and was able to stop it. Well, Australia might be in front, but you would imagine the Kiwi Ferns would have signed away for this. One point behind going into the break with nine minutes to play in the women's final of the Rugby League World Cup Nines. So all the play for, and we will go inside the huddles here as the teams get their address. In fact, now we go down to you, Hannah Hollis. Thank you, Dan. Ali, you guys lead by the slimmest of margins at halftime. They are completely smothering you. How are you going to find some space in the second? Yeah, I just probably need some more support, and they're rushing up on me, so take the tackle, and then we'll play off that. All right, get into the huddle. Good luck. Sure, thank you. <laughs> well done, Hannah. Thank you, Ali Brigginshaw. So we have a look at the first half tries. Typical start from Australia. As Serge has sent it on to Penatani. But then New Zealand fought back. And it was uh, Racine McGregor, too hard to stop. A bonus point converted try. And then Australia retaking the lead through Kezi Apps. But boy, oh boy, this is uh, this is tight. Yeah, there's nothing in it. And I think for the Kiwi Ferns, there's, there's, it's obvious that they've identified the Brigham Shaw. They've got to put some pressure on him. Let's have a listen. She, she said it composed, isn't she? I like that. She's done it all in the game. That was a nice, simple message, like wasn't it, Maddie? Yeah, she's a very experienced player, and um, all the girls have a lot of respect for her, so I'm sure they will take that all in, and, yeah, they're going to come out and hopefully um, do some points as well. Yeah, great control, great composure. That was awesome leadership there from Haremi. I, I love the, the, the message in, in the way that she delivered it. So... Uh, I think that's changed your tip both going into the second half. I'm the most impressed with that. I did like that. So here we go. Nine minutes to go in the women's tournament. And it's just a one-point game. Police down 12. Come here. Wait. Go. So here's Maynard. Shoots it out now to Nichols. Turns it on the inside to Tamarua. Set upon by three defenders. Wait here. Fancy the first try in this second half is so important. Nichols back on the inside to Maynard. Draws in the defender and keeps it going now. And Leia Tower keeps it going to Hareme. One on one. Close. Surges. So physical, Jess Surges, but this time Hareme holding on to it. Now it comes out to the middle. There's Crystal Rorda holding it and delaying the pass. 
Wonderful oh. offload, Laetawa, here's Rauder, almost oh, away. Go. Great tackle from Kelly. It was essential. Last. New Zealand to the short side, and it is a try! Jules good Newman! They're back in front, the Kiwi Ferns! Great pass from Laetawa. This is specialty on the short side. She holds it up, looks like she's going to throw the cutout pass, throws it short to Newman. And in the blink of an eye, we like their halftime chat. We like the, the message and the delivery, and that's what it, they have delivered so far in this second half. You nervous, Matty? Oh, a little bit, but no, the girls will bounce back from this. Um, there's a lot of talent out there on the field, and um, they'll reboot, and yeah, they'll, they'll get the ball back now and get down the field. And there's a lot of New Zealand uh, fans watching across the Tasman via Sky Sports. So say hello to everyone listening through the Pacific, FBC and Fiji and all the stations taking the nines, including uh, Fox League, of course. Wouldn't they love to upset Australia in both games? They're just, that would, they would love it. This has been, from in both forms, men and women, typical New Zealand. Start tournaments slowly and just build into it. How many Four have. Nations titles have New Zealand started diabolically and they come home with a wet sail? Although now they've got... Oh, McGregor, look at Gordon this. McGregor putting the foot down. She's burning him away. Oh. Haremi's hauling her in, but not in time. McGregor gets over Get and gets the five as well. A statement try from Corbin McGregor. Now it's Australia back in front. Yeah, great play from Australia to get it over to the right-hand side, to give it to Corbin McGregor in open space. And when she receives this ball, she is away. The afterburners, she's so fast, she gets through the defensive line, comes around and gets the extra point. Five points under the goalpost. What a play from McGregor. Yeah, that's a delivery spirit. They bounce back straight away and put a try on. So I was unreal by uh, Corbin, and yeah, they, they're back into it. Terrific tournament from Corbin. Part of the Sydney Roosters setup. And Australia now out by four. With uh, under six minutes to go, and that was a tricky kick. Reeled in by Maynard. Oh, Kiwis, the Kiwi Ferns, not afraid to spread it here. And, uh, Madison Bartlett had some work to do. And they're keeping it alive here. They're letting it sing a little. Here's Haremi. Oh, she's away, is she? In and away, that's her. And she's done it again. She's torturing poor tongue guy. <laughs> and now the Kiwi Ferns. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. So not too expensive for Australia. That was only tackle one. And they take the tap and go here, New Zealand. Game on here. Great opportunity for the Ferns. Georgia Hale. Shot. Great tackle. And the two up higher. There's tongue guy with a big tackle. Inside the last five. Now, Tamarua up to the 20. Numbers left for the Ferns if they can get it there quick enough. Huge numbers. Boyle did well to slow the play the ball. Oh. Go to the left. He's Nichols trying to do it on her own. Huge tackle there by Harden. Still left. Now, here they go. It's a try. Nita Maynard. It's 15 all. That's what she does best, Nita. She loves, loves the quick play the ball and... Yeah, she deserved that try. She's been playing on real, so well done, Nate. Yeah, you're right. Uh, Maynard's been great for the Ferns. She's been so elusive wherever she plays on the field. This, in this instance, it's out of dummy half. Big conversion here. It's gettable. Let's have a look, eh? Hey? Let's see. Just to the side. Oh, yes! yes she got it. <laughs> Retake the lead. Oh, this is big. Don't forget, after this... It's the men's final, the Kangaroos against the New Zealand Kiwis. We've got some try scoring prowess on both sides there. Jermaine Asaka a a mountain of them. Oh, look at that for a kick. Oh, this is this is a big set of six for Australia. This is huge. Josh Adokar as well in that game, but let's concentrate on this because well, this is a must. They, they just have to stop the Kiwi Ferns from scoring here. They can't let them score a try. Now, run here from Crystal Tamarua up to the 30. Georgia Hale, they hang off her, apps eventually with the tackle, as well as Robinson. Now, the Kiwi Fern shift at left. Another show and go from Raiatoa. 
inside the 10. Rorda, the cutout oh, ball. Oh, oh tackle. Oh, a brilliant pickup, but Newman can't handle. That could be the tackle of the tournament right there. That's a moment. Penatani was great hands. The, the Ferns are about to score a try. Great contact for Penatani. You'll see it here. Picks it up. She's away. No. She's one of the best play. defenders that I've played with, and she's always there, and you can trust her as well. So, well done, T. Australia has not lost since May 2017. They've got two and a half minutes to turn the tide here. Oh. Look for Brigginshaw. Now he's apps. I think she's oh, oh, she's lost it. Yes, he's put it down. And surely now, if New Zealand can manufacture a converted try here, it almost puts the Gillaroos out of reach. There's a, a solid run here from Bristol Rorder. What a turnaround. They were so decisive over New Zealand yesterday, the Gillaroos. Now here's Nichols in a two on two. Dumps it back in field for Takarangi. Inside the last two minutes, time is running out for the Gillaroos. They need to get it back. Here it comes now to Maynard. Now back against the grain. Good tackle. Oh. Almost Short finding a here. way. Light tower. Here's a little run Light from Rorda. The defence superb. Oh, Maynard. Great defence. Nowhere to go. Well, they've built their tournament success on defence Australia, and it's coming through again. Last huge play. Nichols, the grubber. It almost changed the post. This will be knock a try. On. Knock on. No, it's a knock on. Here, we, here it is. Five tackles for Australia to get down the other end of the field. 20 metre restart. They were millimetres from clinching the tournament. And now the Gillaroos have one set. One. Ali just got back on, so she definitely needs the hands and the ball. And that is, that is a replay worth looking at oh. because it's pretty close, but the decisive call was a knock on. Robinson goes to ground, but Australia still have to find a way to score. Find a pass, that's what they've got to find. Brigginshaw, defender rushed up, it was Hareme. And now we've got Sergis. She dishes off Brigginshaw. Now goes out to the wing of Tungai. The kick, Epps is pouring through. The bounce favours Australia. But in front of the kicker there was Sergis, and New Zealand come up with it anyway. Oh, the Kiwi Ferns. They're almost there. Time is up on the 20. Thank you. Jess, push up. Push wow. Up. The play Time from Tungai. Well, up. New Zealand, Thank they've you. had success over Australia in this form. 2015 and 2016, they won the series over there, which was played in conjunction with the Auckland Nines. But in 2017, Australia won 3 0. Oh, 1 on 1 still. But now, Apps. Oh, he's going to say knock on. Play, but one it's one a knock on. on. Oh, it's a strange ball. It was a one on one shot, but it's a knock on. No, he said it's no, a one on one. No, it's a knock on. Well, Henry Perrin, no, he played the ball. He did that play the ball motion back Let's towards this. Australia. So he's saying that that's Kizzy Apps who has ah! forced it forward. And it's all over. Sets. This might be the biggest of them all. The Kiwi Ferns have won the Women's World Cup Nines. A stunning upset over the Australian Gillaroos, 17 to 15. They can't even believe what they've done. These are great scenes here at Bank West. This seemed like a coronation for Australia. They had been so clearly the best team of this tournament. But New Zealand, when it counted, have come up with the goods. Disappointment for Ali Brigginshaw. What a tournament she had. Let's go to Hannah Hollis. Thank you, Dan. I'm joined with Honey Hirame. We are watching absolute scenes as your teammates celebrate. Congratulations. You are the very first World Nines champions. How's it feel? Oh, amazing. Um, you know, what a battle of rugby league that was and to put on such a massive display for women's rugby league. It's just huge for the game, but I'm so proud. So proud of our girls. We come out as underdogs and no one bet on us. No one bet on us. They rated the girls so high 
and yet we come in and we prove that you know hard work and determination will win you a World Cup. Is that what you said at half time? Because we saw some pretty intense pictures of you giving it to the girls when you wanted to bounce back and they certainly delivered. Is that the message you were giving? I think the message that we sent out at half time was more about having each other's backs and playing as a team. Nines can be a very individual game, but when you play as a team, you, you win games and that's exactly what we've done. Well, congratulations, you've made history tonight. Enjoy this win. Thank you so much. What a great representative oh. for uh, the Kiwi. How impressive, is, how impressive is she? That, that's a big reason why they've won this World Cup Nines. The leadership from her, superb. You picked it, Braith. You said it half time. It was her composure. Remember, they were down eight points to seven. Yeah, they came in with a game plan to shut down Ali Bringershaw, and that's what they did. And um, look, it was a great game of um, women's rugby league, and both teams, both countries should be very proud and well deserved to New Zealand. But congratulations on Jillaroos for a great tournament as well. Geez, it's been a dark half an hour for Australian sport. <laughs> <laughs> Wallabies got smashed out of the World Cup and now we've seen the, the Women's World Cup nines. Hopefully it gets better, there. Yes, we've still got one tonight. It's the men, the Kangaroos, taking on the Kiwis. That's coming up shortly. Lara Pitt and the team will take you through the next few minutes. Thank you to Maddie Stutton and Braith and Asta. New Zealand get the first trophy of the night. You're watching the World Cup nines live on Fox League. Welcome back to Bank West Stadium. A stunning grand final result in the Women's World Cup Nines. New Zealand, our inaugural champions after springing a massive upset over their arch rivals, Australia. 17 to 15, the full-time scoreline. Welcome back to Corey Parker and Luke Lewis. Unbelievable scenes of celebration and jubilation. That was down to the wire stuff. An unbelievable result for New Zealand. Yeah, edge of your seat stuff, wasn't it, Lara? And sitting here just watching, and the crowd was riding every moment. That's exactly why these two teams are the best in the world at what they do. And the New Zealand Kiwi Ferns, will they get the inaugural trophy here this afternoon or this evening off the back of what has been a perfect tournament for them. They started slow, but they finished exactly where they need to be. Look, they were very much the underdogs coming into it. Uh, the lead changed half a dozen times. What was the difference in this performance from them to game one? Because Australia were unstoppable through the pool stages. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Australia were unbelievable to watch. I, I didn't know who was going to beat them or how they were going to beat them, but the New Zealand Warriors, they believed. Uh, they, they come out here tonight and there was no pressure on them at all to, to get this win. They just wanted to get out there, compete, compete hard. And they did that and they got their opportunity. They took it with both hands and Maynard come up with a beautiful try there to score under the post and, and got them off to a, a really handy uh, lead there and they just held it they defended well they they stuck in there they had their backs against the wall they they just kept searching for something and uh, yeah look they got away with the win they built nicely and it was, it was a quality game of uh, nine football I've just seen there excellent to watch <laughs> I imagine a very shattered Australian women's team at the moment but it is all smiles for the Kiwis let's head down to the ground now for the official presentation gentlemen, welcome to the official presentation for the 2019 Downer Rugby League World Cup Nines. Could you please welcome on stage our official party, Graham Thompson, Chairman of the International Rugby League, Peter Beattie, Deputy Chairman for the International Rugby League, and from Downer, Michael Sharp. Firstly, I would like to announce the Downer Rugby League World Cup Nines Player of the Tournament. From New Zealand, Racine McGregor. Uh, I just want to say um, a massive congratulations to Australia. You guys played really well. To our girls, man, we really played out of our skin today. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. To our coaching staff, thank you for getting us to where we are today. I say congratulations, Racine. Now, please, everyone, could you please put your hands together and give a big congratulations to the runners-up in the 2019 Downer Rugby League World Cup Nines, Australia. Could you please welcome them on stage, led by their captains, Kezi Apps and Ali Brigginshaw. Uh, 
Um, firstly, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming out to support tonight and yesterday. It was an amazing atmosphere and thank you to the crowd. It's one of the best crowds we've ever played in. And for everyone to get behind the women's game, I thought it was outstanding. So thank you. <clears throat> to the Kiwis, you played your heart out there and you really dug deep to get the win. And to our girls, it was a hard loss and we'll feel that one for a couple of days. Looking forward to the test match next week and we'll see the Kiwis again. Thank you. Thank you, Ali. Well, could you please give your, put your hands together and give a very big congratulations to our winners of the 2019 Downer Rugby League World Cup Nines, New Zealand. Let's welcome them on stage, led by number one, Abby Nichols. Madison, Madison Bartlett, Bartlett. Jules, Jules Newman, Newman. Adafai Tupai, Racing McGregor, Shante Poco, Angelina Laetoa, Crystal Roda, Crystal Tamarua, Kiana Takarangi, Tawila Fotumuala, Georgia Hale, Nita Maynard, Aisha Lee Smalley, Kenyon Paul, And last, and last but, but, not, but not, least, not least, it's fantastic to see her back in rugby league and back in the black and white, the captain of New Zealand, Honey Hirame. Uh, just firstly, I'd like to thank Australia for a massive battle out there, and we knew it was going to be a really great, uh, really big grind. And as always, these are our biggest rivals, so. Um, just a great game from you girls, and um, obviously we'll see you guys next week. Um, but mostly to my girls and our management team. Um, it's really surreal to be here, and it's been a long time coming, but I think we proved to ourselves um, that, you know, with teamwork and just a great culture that um, we come here and we set out what we wanted to do. So thank you very much. Well said, honey, and congratulations again. Honey will now receive the Downer Rugby League World Cup Nines Trophy from Michael Shah from Downer.